welcome back to Vlogmas Friends. Today is actually um, Saturday. Uh, Saturday the 9th, I believe. Yesterday was just a write-off because Little Miss came home from daycare and has been plagued with the daycare cold. Um, it was kind of like starting to come on like Thursday-ish, uh, but by Friday afternoon when we picked her up, um, she was running. Also, I think some of the separation anxiety has been kicking in, so she literally was just not well and attached to me all day. Do a little, you can scream in the background. You like to scream with your daughter? Scream away. <laughs> um, but one thing I did try to do yesterday uh, before she was really not having it, I've been wanting to do some Christmas ornaments for like baby's first Christmas. So like a little ornament with like her handprint on it. <laughs> and so I made some dough and like did a couple handprints. She was not pleased. Uh, she did not want any part of that craft making. Um, but then when I baked them, they puffed up. Hold on. They're unique. Yeah, it looks like a, like a pita. That's what it looks like. Um, it's literally just flour salt and water. Um, this one's kind of okay. It's not quite as puffy. There's one that's like mostly okay. I also don't know if I bake them long enough because I put them in as long as they're supposed to, even a little longer, um, but they just feel kind of soft. So I had some leftover dough. Um, I added some water. I'm just trying to make sure it's not too sticky and we're going to try and make a couple more and see how it goes. If it's not fully baked, I feel like it's just going to like rot from the inside out. I don't know, but we're going to try this again. I should be able to make at least two more. Um, and I'm going to bake it at a lower temperature. Cause, um, from what I read, if it starts to puff up, you're just supposed to like bake it longer or lower. This is how much dough I have left. So I'm adding a little more flour so it's less sticky. And we're going to try this again. Okay, so these are like round one. That one is like, okay. And then this is round two, and I think they turned out pretty good. And then I made a snowman for her to just paint. Not bad. And just like that, uh, it was Monday. Um, today's date is Monday, December 11th. And I have to apologize because uh, I didn't forget to vlog. Um, I half forgot, but half had my hands full um, because baby girl was going through it this weekend. Uh, and we did actually go and, oh, and I also look like I've been going through it. Uh, we did actually leave the house. I vlogged a little bit on Saturday. Um, yeah, but forgot to mention that we left and we went to go check out the well downtown. Um, it is a gorgeous space and I'm so excited to see everything open up. I was initially going to bring my secondary, my vlog phone, um, to get some like video footage of it. But if you're interested in checking it out, just look online. You can see all sorts of um, like photos and videos and stuff. Uh, but it's a gorgeous space and I'm so excited to see things open up. Um, that space is going to be amazing in the summertime. It, it has such like a, a holiday feel to it uh, right now, obviously, but yeah, summertime, it's going to be really cool. So yeah, didn't bring you guys with me for that. Um, and then, yeah, Saturday night. Oh, don't drop your cup. Don't drop your cup. Yeah. Saturday night. Um, hold on. Let me finish this bagel. <sighs> We're also drinking cold coffee because I did not get to it uh, in time today. Um, Saturday night, Adam actually was watching fights with his buddy, UFC fights, fight night. Um, that's not an every Saturday thing, but an often Saturday thing. They were late this week, so I was basically put baby girl down for bed shortly after they started. And once she was sleeping, which was off and on, uh, I still have to kind of go in there semi-frequently to put her back down or whatnot. But once she was sleeping, I decided to get my... Oh, there goes your cup. Now it's on the floor. You can try and eat that bagel. Um, oh, and the bagel's on the floor. You did that on purpose. Now what? 
I have cereal for you if you want it. Um, once I put her down Saturday, I decided to get my crochet game on. I took a bit of a break. Um, and I looked up a pattern for a different kind of hat because I had this really cute yarn that I still wanted to make um, a hat for her. So I looked up this pattern and this is what I made Saturday night. <laughs> the only downside is that it is too small. So um, I started making a second one and uh, it is a little bit bigger. Um, the pattern that I was looking at didn't have any patterns um, or it didn't have any instructions to go bigger than like the 6 to 12 month size, which this is what this is. But because I did like a fairly tight crochet, like there's not really much stretch to it. So this is for like, I would say like a 6 to 8 month baby. Um, yes? You dropped your snacks on the floor, you dropped your cup on the floor, and now what do you want? So I have to uh, either hold on to this for um, another little bebe if it'll fit, but it's so freaking cute. Um, I just have to go get more of this yarn at some point soon to try and finish the next size up that I am attempting to make. So anyways, and then yesterday, Sunday, um, was a laundry day for us. And then, yeah, laundry day. And we went for a walk outside and, um, because it was pretty mild yesterday, and then we went and had dinner with his parents, Adam's parents and sister, um, which was really nice. The only downside is that um, Little Miss here was really under the weather. Um, whatever has kind of been bothering her, whether it's, I mean, I think it's a combination of a couple things. First week at daycare combined with teething, um, all kind of like, at once um, and so she was not feeling well she had a fever last night which uh, her and I ended up just sleeping in her bed um, for the night and yeah she was not feeling well her fever broke so like, she's feeling and looking a lot better but she's a slut snotty a little mess and a drooly mess um, so we're just kind of monitoring her. Needless to say, she's playing hooky uh, and did not go to daycare today. I also wanted to do a little bit of a show and tell to show you guys. So you probably saw the little sneak peek from the other vlog. This is the hat that I made for her for Halloween, a little Mayday hat. There's a few little threads sticking out that I could probably do a better job of weaving in, which I'm seeing now. Um, but this is the hat that I made for her, a little Mayday hat for Halloween. I started crocheting because I wanted to make this hat. So it turned out it was, I would say, a smashing success. I did a practice hat. So this was a practice hat, which was meant to be for her. Um, it is way too big, so it's something that she will grow into. Um, but it's so cute and like super like plush and soft and warm. Yes, do you want some of this cereal? Are you gonna cooperate? Um, and after I made this, and then I made the Mayday hat, oh, and this, uh, was one of the first editions of the Mayday hat, but it's way too big, um, Adam wears it jokingly, um, <laughs> it just looked like a weird little helmet. Uh, I could probably eventually finish it into, like, an adult size Mayday hat, but for now, it's just this helmet. And then I ended up making two more hats to match this first one. So this one is mine. This is the second one that I did um, with that yarn and oh. I made it initially for Adam so that they could have like daddy daughter matching hats. Um, still figuring out sizing and figuring out how all that works. It is obviously way too large. He thinks it's hilarious and amazing and he didn't want anything changed so I just left it. So this is um, his hat, <laughs> and then this is mine, which I love and I think it's amazing, but anyways, um, I need to go get more yarn so I can finish the second one of this, and hopefully it'll turn out just as good. I freaking love it. I'm just so sad it doesn't fit you. I'm going to finish my breakfast and hopefully she will have some of her breakfast and I think that's going to be it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and today, Monday. I have to apologize that it was a little 
kind of flurry of nothingness and a lot of catch up today. But uh, we're just going to hang out. I've got some puppy dog pals on the TV uh, because it's her favorite show. And she's just been a little extra needy and cuddly. And so she's being very cooperative right now in her seat. So I'm hopefully going to take advantage of that and feed her a little cereal. Yeah. And then I think we're just going to cuddle all day since she's playing hooky. And fingers crossed she feels better tomorrow. And I can go back to the gym and... Uh, get a little bit of something done during the day but that is it that is all thank you for bearing with me hope you're all having a wonderful december and i will see you guys in the next one